this reading is going to be for Aries. <clears throat> Aries for the month of October. How are you doing, Aries? I got a new deck. It's called the Kipper deck. I love this deck, Aries. Oh, I love all my decks, but it this it's just, it emphasizes everything. And I absolutely love that. So Spirit and Kipper, what do we have for Aries for the month of October? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, slow down, slow down. Despair. Mmm. Aries, did you not listen to your reading last month? What path did you choose, Aries? You must choose the right path. You must choose the right path of honor with truth. Not deception with lies. What do you have for Aries for the month of October, Spirit? Aries, month of October. Someone's going to court. Concern. High honor. Pathway. Unexpected income. Lovers. Right, I'm going to clarify with the Miss Cleo deck. I don't know if I told you or not. I put five of the Kipper deck down and then I clarify with Miss Cleo. And then if there's some cards in there that I need to clarify again with, I'll clarify those with the Kipper. Because these babies tell a story together. I'm telling you that it is awesome. That deck has me excited. <laughs> we have our so I'm hearing some of you have... Went with the lies and deception, but the greater part of you have went with the truth. Ace of Steps. Concerned about the Ace of Steps. Concerned about actions taken. Hi, <sighs> honor, please. Number 25, could you clarify it? Oh, Ace of Cups. Yeah, that's that one where uh, uh, your wife, your girlfriend, is happy that you decide to go forth with the truth instead of the lies and deception. Whoa. What a story we got there. Rests. Coins. Moving forward. Fighting to move forward. Okay. One card, please. Clarify path. I've seen all the cards, but one card for the path. Thanks. Three of Swords. So actually, don't take that as in Three of Swords and fighting and get stabbed in the back. Uh, you have a path over here that leads with the lies and deception. And then you have a path over here that leads with the truth. Clarify uh, unexpected income. Unexpected income. Clarify unexpected income. I'm feeling like there is some people that did wrong around you and When they go in front of the boss man or in front of the courts or everything, they're going to say, well, uh, they said it was okay, so you may be a little bit above them, maybe the manager or something, and the, when the other boss above you calls them in, they're going to tell them that you said it was okay. You said it was okay. 
unexpected income. And that's where the stabs in the back come in. But as long as you change from the path of lies and deceit to truth and justice, you'll be all right. Ten of Swords, unexpected income. Huh. Try to find the Ten of Swords on the unexpected income. So somebody from Lies and Deceit is going to try to give you some money to tell you to shut up. Shut up about the star. Shut up about the Aquarius. Huh. Or shut up about the emotions. I know I didn't do that one yet. I'm really stuck on this one. Clarify all this under 27. The Ten of Swords, the star, the sudden wealth. Who's giving the money? Now this could be an Aquarius stabbing you in the back or you stabbing an Aquarius in the back. See, thief is giving you the money. So, just what I said. This bad guy or two bad guys over here is going to try to give you some money to a stab an Aquarius in the back. Alright. Clarify the levers for me. Clarify the lovers for me. Oh, okay. Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. So what path are you going to choose? You have free will. Come on, Aries. Choose the right path. I know you think the lies and deceit is much easier for right now, but I tell you what, that truth message. So you're going to receive a message to change that. I'm not lies and deceit, something else. Give me two over here, Miss Cleo. For Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm seeing someone, a female, that you have had a fancy for come up to you and ask you, do it my way. Let's do it this way. I want to do it this way. Keep it hush, 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 hush. Hush, Aries, hush. Page of Cups. Eight of Cups. So... You're concerned about the actions taken to move forward. Page of Cups. It seems that that person may be playing on you, Aries. They're playing on you. They plan on the fact that you've had a crush on them for a very long time. Miss Skipper, do you have anything else? For Aries, for the month of October. Just doing three cards, yeah. Put it down here at the bottom. Thank you. Message of concern. Coffin. And expectations. So the expectations kind of landed on that thief. They're wanting you to stab an Aquarius in the back. They're wanting you to put the nails in the coffin. This is their message of concern that this needs to be done. What's going to happen when this gets found out for Aries? Hmm. 
what's going to happen when this gets found out for Aries? because the lies and deceit always come out. It may take a little bit. Family room. Child. Change. Hmm. So, Aries, you may have, uh, if you're married with children, and the person you love over here, because it seems like this right there is so much different than all the rest of this. All the rest of this ties in, but this right here doesn't. I feel like this right here is going right here. Family room with this love of the high honors. Your wife loves you because you have high honors. Your family is great. You have the child there. And then you have the change card. All that's going to change if you do this deceit and lies. Please hit the like and subscribe. Let me read into it a little more for you, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. message of action that they want you to take. A positive message. A positive message is going to come in about changing your future to the better so you can keep your family It is going to come in shortly after the message of concern about nailing a coffin. Nailing something shut. And this is the path where you, you your final path for this lesson. This is your lesson now. Your final path for this lesson is laid down. You can either do this. That's over here. Or you can do this. That's over here. So, you can have everything over here with the truth. And doing the right things. Being commended for your actions. Or you can do all this mess over here and lose everything. It's up to you. You know what to do. That's kind of like, oh, let me tell you a story. That's kind of like, outside the family dollar is a panhandler with a pot so he can get money for food with a sign. I'm hungry. I need something to drink. Yes, I'm an alcoholic, but I still have to eat. Over there is that meth head walking into the family dollar to go steal them some makeup and some whatever drugs off the shelf. Maybe some, I don't know, something else. Something they can sell to get their drugs. Okay? Now, that person going into the store gets caught by the cops. But as the cops are pulling up, they see the panhandler out there with the pan. They wave to him. And they go in and arrest the person stealing. Do you see the difference in those two people? Do you see some of the same things in those two people? They both have an addiction. 
They both were poor, but one chose to steal, and one chose to be humble and ask for something. It's a choice. And as an adult, the choice is yours on how to make your life go. All right, blessings to you, Aries. Thanks for letting me read for you. Y'all have a great October. Happy Halloween.